the date for this. Uh, I am married, so I support gay marriage. Um, not that those two have anything in common, but I do support gay marriage, and uh, I'm behind it 100%, which is probably not the right phrase. Um, <laughs> but I do support it, and if you don't support gay marriage, that's cool, but at least have a good reason why you don't, right? Like most people I talk to who are against gay marriage have been divorced multiple times, and their go-to argument is always the same, right? So I was like, well, in the Bible it says that gay marriage is an abomination and a slap in the face to God. I'm like, what's the Bible say about divorce? <laughs> That's different, because my ex-wife's a bitch. <laughs> and God knows that. <laughs> he made her, he knows that. He'd be okay with this. I'm like, you can't use that excuse. Does it make sense, right? And people have weird reasons for being against gay marriage. I was talking to this guy once. This is his reason. He's adamantly against gay marriage. And he goes, uh, the only reason gay people want to get married is so they can teach gay science to kids in school. <laughs> I don't know what gay science is. I just imagine a bunch of kids dissecting a frog or listening to Cher's greatest hits or something. I don't know what that means. But I do want to know in his head what he thinks gay science is. But like I imagine like a chemistry class with like a super gay teacher where the teacher comes out and is like, all right guys, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. But it's gonna have to lose some of that mass if he wants to be ready for fashion week. Like that's not a thing. That's never existed, ever. I also wanna know in his head what he thinks straight science is. Like that's so much more different, right? Like uh, I imagine like a chemistry class, another chemistry class, super straight teacher comes out and he's like, uh, all right man, let me tell you something. Uh, oxygen can bond with just about anything, all right? One thing you should never bond with, another oxygen. <laughs> ain't right. God did not put oxygen on this earth to bond with another oxygen. Now, I know some of y'all think, you're thinking, well, oxygen does bond, bond with oxygen, that's what we breathe. Plants make that, they shoot it out, and that's what we breathe. That's just the gay liberal plants trying to make you gay. <laughs> Do not let the gay liberal plants make you gay. I go outside every day, I yell at my oak tree, you ain't gonna make me gay, oak tree. I'm a real man. I like a pussy willow. Uh, also, not a thing. So I am married, that's a thing that's going on in my life. I'm married, at, uh, I'm married to an engineer, which is awesome, because somebody's got to pay the bills, right? And uh, it's not me, because I do this shit. And, uh, it's, it's awesome, but like, it's, it's weird, because like, I'll just tell you this, here's some free financial advice for any guy. Uh, marry up, it's the best thing. Seriously, like being married to an engineer is like having a savings account you can occasionally put your dick in. <laughs> it's awesome. I'll warn you, there is a severe penalty for early withdrawal. <laughs> like, would you like another transaction? She's like, no, I'm like, I'll bank online. I don't care. Whatever. Doesn't matter. My wife is a saint, and I don't, I don't know how I ended up with her. I really don't. I'm an idiot. I don't know how, like, these are three things that have happened recently that I just, I don't understand how she's with me. Like, I'll tell you this. All right, look. Uh, last week, she was going through my phone, and she was looking through my Google history which is already a bad move, right? And she came across the phrase, gay tiger lovers. And like some of you, she had a couple of questions, all right? Here's what happened, all right? For the life of me, I could not remember the names of Siegfried and Roy, and I thought that would be the best option. Their names popped right up, it was crazy, I don't know. Is it weird that she was like, what is this? I was eating the frosted flakes. I told him. That's right. <laughs> it was all, it was epic. I like tigers and mascots, guys. That's what I'm saying. Here's another thing that happened that's happened recently. I'm no longer allowed to take Ambien, the sleeping pill. I don't know if you guys have ever taken Ambien, but when I take it, I do shit and don't remember it. I'll just put it to you this way. Has anybody ever taken Ambien and then Snapchatted a picture of your dick to every female on your phone? <laughs> Follow-up question, has anybody ever taken Ambien and then Snapchatted a picture of your dick to every female on your phone while having a conversation with your wife? <laughs> this guy has, and I did it while sitting in a fort made of pillows that I don't remember making either. Now here's the thing, I know that's shitty, but I'm gonna defend myself. One, I sent it to every female in my, in my phone, including my wife, because I'm a goddamn gentleman. Number two, it wasn't just straight dick, I made it look like a clown before I sent it out. It, it had red shoes, a little bow tie, a red nose, and an orange afro. Just the saddest, tiniest dick clown of all time. So what I'm saying is ladies, Snapchat me. 
There's no telling what you might get. Might be an astronaut tonight. Who knows? I don't know. I'll think whatever you're into. One night, the lady was like, you do a dinosaur? I was like, I guess. She's like, how about like a brontosaurus? I'm like, you might want to shorten the neck. Um, maybe a baby. Maybe like Littlefoot. I could do Littlefoot, I guess. I don't know. Here's another thing. I wish this wasn't true. This happened, too. I have a friend who was, uh, he's married for a year. He's getting a divorce, and I know that because his wife put that shit on Facebook for everybody to see. She was like, this dude's a dick. I'm getting a divorce. Ask me whatever. So me and my wife were like, ooh, drama. Let's watch this up, all right? Of course, someone asked her, so like, what's the problem? Why are you getting a divorce? And then the wife said, he has an addiction to prostitutes. And then the next question was, how'd you find that out? And then the wife said, I looked on his computer. At which point, I looked my wife in the face and went, rookie mistake! That's the whole point of awards, a cash transaction. There's no paper trail. No way you're supposed to get caught. And she's like, you're talking to me, idiot. I'm like, oh, yeah. Here we go, I'm gonna do a character for you guys uh, that I like. His name is Typhoon, the headliner. He's a uh, Def Jam comedy superstar, and his entire act involves making fun of the audience, but nothing he says makes any sense whatsoever. So that confused face you're giving me is gonna stay. Um, so without further ado, Typhoon, the headliner, Def Jam comedy superstar. Here we go. <clears throat> I don't know why that's me getting into character, but whatever. Here we go. Typhoon, the headliner. <clears throat> don't they do look like the answer to the question, are you uncomfortable? <laughs> Dodie! Dodie! Do he? He do. He do. He do. Don't get to look like he know where Waldo is, but won't tell nobody. Dodie! Do he? He do. He do. He do. Don't get to look like Justin Timber Pond. He like Timbo Lake, but a bit smaller. <laughs> Don't he? He do, he do. Don't get to look like Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Not the movie, but the actual mountain. <laughs> Some of these are just for me, guys. That's it, it's just for me. I don't want to be sexist, so ma'am, would you like to be done? <laughs> yes, you would. All right. Here we go. Don't you look like Summer's Eve on the Jersey Shore? Douchey. <laughs> Some of you will get that on the way home. <laughs> Last one, here we go. Don't they do look like a decimal system? Do it. Do he. If you're not laughing at that one, visit the library immediately.